Yo, play it back with a new vib, boy. We have, we have to see what they're talking about. We have to see what they're talking about. This title is wild. The Holocaust wasn't about race. Yeah, it was definitely about that. Because a certain group of people were killed. So it was definitely about race. That doesn't make any sense. The Holocaust isn't about race. No, it's not about race. 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 That's a crazy take. I am the take, to be honest. That's just crazy to say. Oh my god. You know people try to sound smart and they're not like like she That's what that was. She's dead ass trying to sound like she's smarter than what it is. You're so overthinking it. And what's crazy is I know she was sitting on that for a good second, bro. Can you imagine can you imagine she was like what George Zimmerman did was not about race. It was about man's inhumanity to man. What in the world is she talking about, bro? Man, this is an awful take, though. That's a top tier bad that's take. That's a horrible then, take. Then, like, your NBA takes just so wrong. No. Why are you talking about men low like that? NBA takes? If you look at him, you look at him to talk. I hate when people do that, bro. I hate it, bro. No, you said what you said. And you was very vehement and like you was like very serious. Like, no, it's, it's it's not, not about it's race. It's not. It's not like you casually said the Holocaust is about da 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 da. You made sure you was very specific and said it's not about race. <laughs> you know what's so odd? It's not. He's defending her OD. Is that crazy. it? Well, that is that also, odd. You know what's so crazy? Uh, at the view, I'm pretty sure they just continued to have regular <laughs> conversations. They were like, like so kittens, right? Hypoallergenic kittens or regular kittens? <laughs> Next topic. Yo, nigga, there's no way, bro. Jeez. Oh, race and inhumanity. And last night, when you appeared on Stephen Colbert's show, I should say, quote, as a black person, I think of race as being something. Oh, she did not. She felt that way, bro. Why, why are we doing this, bro? She was just misinformed, or she was just dumb or ignorant, whatever you want to call it. But to sit there and say, I didn't mean it that way. No, you did, bro. She definitely meant that. Just say you meant it that way and you were wrong. Yeah. So y'all, you just basically playing the friend card, bro. Because she your friend, she all of a sudden didn't like. Are you do you doing a lot of backtracking, or it's a lot of softball play? But bro, if it feels a white dude who said that slavery wasn't about race. It's mm. about the man some other man. You will lose your shit, bro. Cause that's how dumb that sounds. If I'm not mistaken. At least how we were taught. I wasn't not seeing that. Slavery not about race. It's crazy. Same thing as the Holocaust. Same thing definitely about race. Holocaust is definitely about race. Killed a massive group of people. Thought that you were above someone else because of the way you look. So, if that's, a, if that's not the key definition, then I don't know what to tell you, man. How old is. What's yeah, her name? I don't even know her name. Yes, it seems like they were there. Very specific about only. Um, white skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. Yeah, so, so it, it, wasn't, it wasn't just, but they were just pri pri primarily um, people who were affected by it because of the people that they stayed in, but it wasn't just about uh, people anyone who wasn't black. That's the definition of race. Uh, very catchy about topics around here. Uh, we have good intentions. Uh, like she said, it was about the inhumanity of people as well, but yes, race did play a major factor uh, back then. It wasn't just major, it was the primary thing. 
They didn't say like it wasn't. God, it, was, we, it was we are better than them. So exactly. let's eliminate them to purify. Exactly. That's what it was. It was not just mainly. It was ex almost exclusively about how much they believed they were better than. I actually want to see the episode of you to see like how she got that off and how people responded. Because there's no way, there's no way they kept going with that <laughs> and then like nobody didn't say like, hey, hey, whoopie, whoopie, whoopie. You wanna you wanna slow down there for a second? Because what you saying is sounds real. Nuts right now. So others at the table, along with critics, pointed out that the Nazis, in fact, did see Jewish people as an inferior race. On the late show with Stephen Colbert, she appeared to stand by what she said. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, she doubled well, so down. You, you can't call this racism. This was evil. Mm -hmm. This wasn't. This wasn't based on his skin. Well, have you come to understand that the Nazis? Saw what the fuck are you talking about, Whoopi? So racism is not you evil. On national television, you didn't oh revise your opinion. You didn't revise. You didn't talk it through with anybody. She's like 50 oh years God, old, talking like this. Down. And then, it's a bad it's look. A, it's a bad pure look. Skin. Pure evil. Oh, it all is pure evil. We get that. But what is the what is the identification of the pure evil? Racism. It would be based off of some form of race. Like, what are we what are we doing right now, bro? I think she's, this is almost like she's. It's in pursuit of trying to have a different opinion. Like, so bad. Yeah, so bad. I have to have a different opinion. This is, I, this is um, what they, they call it, um, like, late night syndrome. Where you just, you're on TV so much that you just keep talking, talking, and you just catch yourself just saying shit, just to say shit. Mm. Same thing like we said about um, Joe Rogan, other um, video, where, like, you're just on a podcast so long, you're talking Never heard hours of that. and hours and hours, and you just, just so I'm going to stumble across this fucking realm of just, ah, this is a little hot of take right there. Right. So they're on, they're on television for like 40 minutes, some shit, right? I don't know, right? Like if it's an hour show, it's 40 minutes without commercials. So Joe Rogan has a three and a half hour podcast with one guest. It's five people there. You have so much time to give your thoughts. Mm -hmm. This wasn't, this wasn't based on the skin. Have you come to understand that the Nazis saw it as race? They clapped it up! This, this wasn't, this wasn't based on the skin. Have you come to understand that the Nazis saw it as race? Well, because they might, like, well, asking the Nazis, they would say, yes, it's a racial issue. Well, see, this is what's interesting to me, because the Nazis lied. It wasn't. They, what the they... What am I listening to right now, nigga? No, nigga. See, explaining her take. Put it Remember, back why, why, the Nazis lied? No shit, nigga, they lied. <laughs> but what is it about? <laughs> have to hear really, they, they didn't lie was, to convince a whole, like, ethnicity. millions of people. Listen Not to them. with race because most of the Nazis were white people and most of the people they were attacking were white people. So, all right. So Goldberg issued an apology on oh, Twitter last night saying, "Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man." Her point is that because it was white on white that it wasn't racism. But she has to look on the bigger scale. The Germans believed they were superior to everyone. So Jewish, whatever. Black, boom. Look at Lowe's face. Lowe's face right there is crazy. <laughs> Jewish, boom. Black, boom. Probably if it was a white American, boom. Indian, boom. Middle Eastern, boom. Egyptians, boom. Native American, boom. Like, they believed they were the best out of everyone. So then they wanted to kill everyone that didn't fit their criteria. So that's definitely racism. If you think you're better than someone based on how you look. Like your skin color. Not, not even just skin color, just how you look. Like, you feel like you're above them. Like, you deserve more you des deserve to have power over them that's definitely racism so i don't know what school she went to who taught her about the holocaust but they definitely did not do a good job there's no way she's thinking like that i stand corrected i'm sorry for the hurt that i have caused um during her colbert appearance also last night colbert also indicated that as a black woman her experience as a black woman um so is she, is she trying to argue she's saying that the Jewish people are white? That's the reason why it's not a race thing. So she's saying, really, it should be a religious thing. It should be religious. No. Is it ethnicity, not a race? No. 
that what she's saying? That's her argument? Yeah, because she's saying that the Jewish people are still uh, white. Like, still, I would still, still deem racist because it's an odd topic of a like, bold take on it. It is. Why can't you just like believe it? Even if you don't believe it, like, why do you fight that? What's the point? Like, you can't be that bored on your show where this is like no. the okay, bro. I know you're dying on. Yeah, because that's a very odd. And then going to another nigga show and dying on again? <laughs> I regret my comments as I said and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people as they know and y'all know. Whoopi calls in up for Monday discussing a Tennessee school district's controversial ban on Mao's, the Pulitzer Prize winning graphic novel about the Holocaust. The Holocaust isn't about race. Her co-host seemed taken aback. No, it's well, not about race. It's, 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 it's about a different it, race. But it's it's not about race. It's not about race it about? because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. She also characterized the slaughter of six million Jews like this. This is white people doing it to white people. Yeah. The response was swift, a blizzard of social media posts telling her, yes, it was about race. Whoopi was already scheduled to appear on the late show with Stephen Colbert. It's a crazy take, bro. Like, that's a crazy thing. You didn't even think about that. She did not think about that, bro. It's a crazy take. To oh promote God. her role on the new season of Star Trek. Oh, you already uh, scheduled to appear. What a, what a, what a day to say. She said, now this white people doing the white people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That ain't race. Oh, my God. You know what? Not, I think she thought, like, I'm black. I'm a resident of next round race here. Yeah, they're going to fall back. This very white cats. Yeah, she is. Man, that's a bad take. Fuck, that's a really bad take. Horrible take, man. We're talking about the Holocaust. And would, would, would you care to uh, follow up, clarify what you said this morning? I mean, it confused some people. It's, it, it upset a lot of people. Yes, it was never, ever, ever, ever my intention. We were happy. No, her voice is mad deep, not gonna lie. Deeper than mine, word. <laughs> I just made it. Uh, besides, I feel being black when we talk about race, it's a very different thing to me. So I said that I, I felt that the Holocaust wasn't about race. And people got very, very, very angry and still are angry. And, 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 you know, all of you know what, Marcel? I think race was made up. If we all just, like, mm. if it was easy to, you would just identify me as Ethiopian. But you can't really. Mm. I was born in Ethiopia, I was raised in Canada. They're like, gee, I'm black. Like, you could physically see me. Then I'm black. The fact that historically, all right, one second. Jewish people have one often second. referred to themselves as a race and have historically been discriminated on. Many times over and over, like in catastrophic ways, bro. Just look through history. What? Why does your perspective, just because you're black, just why do you just get to decide like that's not a race? Because in in my bubble, in the world I live in, I don't see him as such. So even if they see themselves as such, I don't. And I get like the point of her show is to, to, to have conversation. And so she probably just thought she was doing her job by like having opposing viewpoints on. Like, you know, argue and like, you know, sometimes even when on the podcast, like, it'll make sense for me to just pull up the antithesis to what you're saying just for the sake of conversation, even if I don't truly believe it. So I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that she's just having conversation. And like in most conversations she has, it's just a low stakes combo where they're just talking about something that maybe some people find interesting. But in this situation, it's obviously not about hypoallergenic cats, right? Where like nobody would give a fuck if you had a hot take on it. It's about a very serious topic. Real anger because people feel very different. But I thought it was a, a salient. <laughs> if you knew that um, people felt differently, um, why did you say it? No, no, she said she, she, said she got it after she got it. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. so odd to me that she was like throwing it back, like, wow, wow. We having a, a hot take about the Holocaust is going to a court, like, yes. Wow, that's discussion because. As a black person, I think of race as being something that I can see. So I see you, and I know what race you are. Mm -hmm. And the question was about mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. I felt, mm -hmm. and I felt that, that it was really mm -hmm. more about man's mm -hmm. inhumanity to man, and how horrible mm -hmm. people can be to people. And we're seeing it mm -hmm. manifest mm -hmm. itself these days. Like, we, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
I see where like it's just coming from, but it's also like very ignorant. Very ignorant. But it's fine. You learn from your mistakes. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, low. Talk to them. Let's we'll spit it right now. In hair color. Mm -hmm. Like that's how they were separating. Even though the skin color was the and, same. And no. They and, and no. They used to that. They used yeah. to knock on doors. And no, they bro. Too big, they'd be like, that that's big. crazy. If your nose so is too big, bro. All, all, all of those things is how they would separate. Because it's so short. Yes. The skin tone is the exact same, but the way that they categorize them based off of other characteristics is still be more model. If, since you want to speak about black people, right? Since got this, you just sat there and said, oh, that's a bunch of white on white. That's white people killing white people, right? That's like saying that if black people were self-loathing to themselves, that it still wouldn't be some form of racism. Because if a black person who was darker skin is being mistreated by a lighter skinned black person, that's they, they're still technically black on black, but it's still some form of racism for mm. several different reasons. Mm. So that, it, it doesn't Facts. Make sense because even within Facts. the black community, it still happens. It still you're happens. So long, you're blatantly. I don't, I don't like when people just because they're a minority. It still happens. Run around like the, the president. Jariah. Yeah, they, they have the authority on it. Yeah. Ah! 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 Talk over here. <laughs> I heard My skin tone is dark enough to talk about this now. <laughs> Look, man, as the resident black guy in this group, black American in this group, as a resident black American, I think I think I'm going to talk about this. Listen, black people, um, American black people, on top of that. Look, we got to stop doing this whole thing with this whole uh, pressure to look at this city and this Always have to put our opinions in front of somebody else's stories or their experiences because we're black. Like I Facts. Get slavery happened, Jim Crow, still things going on right now. I, I get that. I'm not saying that it does not exist. Mm. But no, you don't have to sit there and explain what the difference is every single time, especially when somebody is just trying to convey their story. Mm. You don't have to sit there and say, oh, you got to deal with that, but look what I got to deal with. Like, you don't you don't have to do that. Bro, don't. Don't try to, like, downplay someone else's struggles. We all struggle, man. Feel me? We all struggle in different ways. So... Thing, just accept that. Try to do better in life. Be a better person. 
just allow people to just say what they want to say. Because this is where, again, where Whoopi Goldberg, as a black American, mm. is trying to squeeze in her ideology based off of other people's experiences. Even though many people who are way more intelligent and knowledgeable about the situation, they're telling her you're wrong. And she's still here sitting here saying, it's still not the same because they were white and they were white. So that's that's not how that works. And it's like, you just, well, you just don't know what you're talking about. So just stop and listen so you can be properly informed. What would you and the ego recognize it was about race? Yeah. Why are you disagreeing with that? <laughs> that's a wild way to end up like, and then right there, no, 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 like, subscribe, no, 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 like that, no, no, no. A crazy vid. That was a crazy take. I think, I think she's gonna, she's, she's gonna learn. No, she's, she's like fifty. She got some, got some more time in the ring. She got some more years to learn. That was a good vid though. If y'all see that, like up here, I think it's over here. That means that I am on Twitch right now. And I need that to be at 100%. So if you're watching this, I'm gonna put the Twitch down there. And I better see you there next time. No excuses.